hello guys in this tutorial we're gonna create this beautiful red mug in 3ds max and let's get started as we see in the image it has one to one aspect ratio it's 520 to 520 so we're going to create a plane which is rectangle in the front view let's make it 100 and 100 and drag our image here okay and let's drag it backward and see what we got here okay let's make it bigger by pressing alt and w and let's create a cylinder and let's rotate it 90 degree uh, by pressing this angle snap tool we make sure that it's snapped exact on the degree which we need so we press alt and x to be able to see through okay let's decrease it this size to 16 because it's dividable by 4 and let's get, up, get rid of this segment okay now let's convert it to editable poly and let's add uh, some edges like four edges <coughs> sorry and let's oh, let's select our model and press one to select vertices and scale and let's scale it according to our image like this okay let's delete this up and down polygons and then let's shift and drag it to down and scale okay this will be our bottom and then shift and scale down and press collapse collapse it okay now we need thickness for this let's add shell modifier or actually we can do it by hand so shift drag scale inward and then press shift and move down and we see this edge we're gonna move through here and then scale scale down okay and then let's shift and drag down let's scale it down too we're gonna scale like this and then shift drag down and scale it down shift scale shift move down and scale it down like this okay and then shift scale down and collapse so we get exact same which is inside and outside okay now let's press alt and x to see our object clearly and move it backward okay and let's add turbo spot okay we wanted this bottom part to be a little bit straight so we make chamfer like we select this edge by double clicking and we select this edge by double clicking and let's press F3 to see inside and let's add chamfer and make it a little bit small like really small and leave it like this then after two rows smooth we see this bottom part is straight and I want this part to be a little bit more strain, straight so I add add extra edge here let's select these edges both inside edges and outside edges and 
press connect and add one segment and move it a little bit up press ok okay now what we left is handle so turn off turbo smooth okay so let's draw the spline let's hide it hide the first object we created and then from the shapes part let's select line and let's draw like this okay let's select vertex and press bezier we want all these parts to be bezier all these vertices to be bezier let's adjust handle just like we want and then press enable in viewport and enable in render and choose not radial but rectangular and adjust the width and let's decrease these steps because we're gonna turbo smooth it anyway like this okay now let's convert it to editable poly and when you convert some shapes to editable poly you will have a on a one extra edge either in the beginning or in the end you just remove it and it's okay so maybe we just remove these polygons too delete and unhide all okay now you see we need to rotate our object like this let's deactivate this button and now we can rotate it just like we want okay now we have a little poly let's select this polygon and also let's select this polygon let's inset and let's play with these polygons let's scale it down and move move it like this okay and let's select this upper polygon let's move it like this and scale a little bit down okay let's delete this polygon and the lower one and now let's attach this handle now let's select this border move like this or maybe we just delete this or maybe we just delete this one too and select this border and this border and press bridge and select this border and this border press bridge now we got really good and solid cup now let's see what it look like after turbo smooth it looks great okay let's create a plate for these two let's create the cylinder okay and it's 16 convert it to editable poly and delete this upper and lower polygons and select this border to make it a little bit smaller and now let's select all of this and shift and scale inside a little bit more and now move it down okay and now let's scale this upper border a little bit more okay and now let's select this lower one 
and move it down and scale again okay and then shift and scale again and then release the mouse button and do it one more time and press collapse okay now uh, let's press let's first isolate this plate and press turbo smooth to see what it looks like it looks not so bad but I want some places to be straight not so smooth for this I select these edges by double clicking also the lower ones bottom ones press chamfer let's make it a little bit smaller ok and press ok also I want to add chamfer to these parts chamfer ok oh, we can make these parts smaller because our cup is not so big let's end the weight and scale it down like this and make it lower ok let's see how it looks like it looks great let's move it upward ok now let's add materials ok so press material editor button and let's do like this I will render this coffee cup with a corona render and that's why I want to activate and choose the corona render as my primary render engine and now let's add corona materials press this button and select corona material and add both to the mark and the plate let's choose the color we can actually choose color like this press this button and choose it from here ok and now let's add corona interactive render window here to see how it will look like as an end result and I would like to light my scene through the HDR image and this is how I'm gonna do it press select any of these slots press get material button and choose Corona bitmap it's way to the down it's Corona bitmap and choose any HDR image you would like let's choose the first one for instance okay and it goes here and we need to add this HDR image to our environment slot so press 8 and drag it through environment slot press instance so that we can change some things here uh, okay so as you see we have nice light nice shadows so let's um, let's hide this reference image we have and let's add plane under our coffee cup and I would like to lock my camera because I don't want to change my render while I'm walking on those viewports I want my final render to be in this view so I will lock my camera by doing this by pressing this button and this is corona render settings I will show it if it needs if we need it to okay now let's change the materials for material for this uh, plane I would like it to be shadow catcher material so that the plane itself will be invisible but we are gonna see the shadows on this plane so press this button and choose Corona shadow catcher material and drag and drop this to our plane and for this we need to show which is our what is our backplate or environment and here is our environment we're gonna drag and drop to here and choose not 
to second one, like environment projection onto geometry. Now, as we see, we got we got nice shadows on this ground, but actually it's on the plane. And if we move, we see exactly. We see it's like we have shadows on this image. Okay, now let's add reflections to our material. We have color and now add reflections. And as you see, we have great reflections of this HDR image. Let's make the color a little bit brighter. Okay, and let's make this inside part white. For this, let's create Let's select the inside polygons of our cup. Let's select the middle vertice and control and select our polygon. And now as we see all the polygons attached to this vertex are selected. Now press grow several times. And now let's add our white material. We're gonna want this white material to be reflective too, so let's duplicate our red material and just change the color. Also, we need to change the name. Okay, press this button to add it to the selected vertices, selected polygons, and change the color to white. And then go back to Turbo Smooth. And as you see, we have nice looking mug here. If it's too bright, you can make it a little bit darker. Okay, or a little bit more yellowish. Okay. So here's our mug and we have nice setup. We can change our HDR image easily. If we have different HDR images, you can just change it from here. Press this button and choose a different one. Like for instance this one. Open. Okay. And as you see, our HDR image background changed, but our scene is still great. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you on the next tutorials.